Rosenheim Raceway. And now we shall do the main circuit reverse. And all I gotta say is that last like little bit where the oh the start finish line is moved here. So the start finish line on this one is like just out of the lane choice. But on this one it's down the ways up a little bit. So like the lane choice could like be very interesting. sister who's sending me memes on Instagram from the room over. I'm actually really glad. If it is one thing I will say I mean, I'm, I'm proud to have made an investment in, it is this like little tripod thingy to hold my phone. Because the Lego thing just wasn't cutting anymore. Like the Lego was either getting ripped or not ripped, but warped or like it just was having a hard time staying up. Whereas like on the tripod thing it like stays in one place and I can kind of adjust it a little bit. Oh, and also because it's tightly on there, the uh, charger that I have plugged into my laptop isn't like making it move anywhere. Here we go. So this corner up here became a death trap the last race. Let's see where it becomes a death trap this time. We got one car going off, off course already. I just damaged the left front wheel for no reason. Oh, this is gonna get tight up here. Oh my goodness gracious, that poor guy. I'm gonna get spun. That dude's dead. We have cars that are gonna like die in the next couple of corners. Oh, I got a bump from the freaking truck. I just spun out wheel, man. My bad take this route, because this route seems like it's safer. The truck is coming from my ass, bro. Like, calm down. What's the deal with the truck? Somebody freaking missed it there on the other side of the fence now. We're in fourth, apparently. That dude is going off into the forest. Cannonball, I think, has three wheels. And he's gonna wipe out and kill himself, and I have just absolutely killed my car. Because I was too busy gawking at the other guy. So this is now gonna be that race where I, I have to limp around for a little bit. We haven't had one of these in a while, but that's okay. Texas hand, I hope you freaking die like in the next lap or so. I get the feeling there's gonna be a lot of cars like really hurt. Look, look at this guy, that dude is mangled. Sarge, what the fuck happened, bro? There's a bad day on the battlefield. Oh, there goes freaking what's his face. these races in quite a while. I know, them, but it was totally my fault. Like, I, I freaking, I was too busy looking at the guy behind me to where, like, I just, yeah. I could become a very bad moving chicane for the leaders, though. car's just not making any power anymore, and it pisses me off. Oh, wow. Well, this is not good. 
this is going to become a very dangerous part of the track. There's a lot of cars that are like really close to death, and I think the mechanic just died. And if he didn't, he's very close to him. What? Wait, what did I wreck? Uh, explain? I mean, I got ninth, so I guess it didn't matter, but. Why did I wreck? What happened? Did the other wheel just like give up or fall off or something? What happened? Was it because I was on the curb? Does the curb actually influence damage to the car? I wouldn't think it would. Especially if you're going like freaking two miles an hour. That's strange. Oh well, we move on.